Hi guys, so uh, today I'm going to be doing the bookcase tour and this is a horrible angle but it's the only way that I can get the whole bookcase in so just so you could see that um, I've sort of coded the shelves um, so we've got Harry Potter then just books then like nice books CDs and DVDs and then like hardback books that I've had forever and then that pile there is theatre programmes so I'll start from the top and work my way down but I'm going to have to focus as we go along because this camera is really odd so here on the top shelf I've got this is my Harry Potter shelf behind here it's kind of dark I have the Hogwarts poster book from like Order of the Phoenix poster book from Half-Blood Prince I don't know why I always used to buy the poster books. My friend got me this when he went to France, it's like a changing like that weird 3D thing. It's a French magazine. And then this was the Sunday Times magazine that just has Hogwarts on the front so I kept it. Uh, that was when Deathly Hallows Part 2 came out and then I have Film Wizardry but my page to screen is not on this shelf because it's too tall. It doesn't fit on any of the shelves. Then here we've got my copy of Advanced Potion Making, which I've done a video on how I made it. Sorry, this camera angle is really awful. <laughs> um, I've done a video on how I made that, so you can watch that. However, the, um, the website where I got the image is has now been closed, and I don't have the image on my computer anymore, so I can't send that to people anymore, unfortunately. And then here I have the Collector's Edition Harry Potter book. So they all look like that, and they've got like gold pages, so they're super nice. I got those quite recently. So I've got Philosopher's Stone, Chamber of Secrets, Prisoner of Azkaban, Goblet of Fire, it's like a night bus thing. Um, Order of the Phoenix, Half-Blood Prince, and Deathly Hallows. I'll just show you another one of so you know what they look like. Sorry, the floor's squeaking. <laughs> there we are. And then I've got the normal, I've got three paperbacks and then the rest in hardback. I'm hoping to get those three in hardback just so I can complete the collection. My Chocolate Frog. Quidditch Through the Ages, Fantastic Beasts, Where to Find Them, The Tales of Beedle the Bard. So You Think You Know Harry Potter, which was like a WH Smith's own quiz book. Was it WH Smith's own? Why do I remember that? Oh yeah, there it is. Oh, it won't focus. But anyway, quiz book that only has up to Goblet of Fire in it. Oh, I'll put that back later. The Cuckoo's Calling by Robert Gareth, aka JK Rowling. I haven't read that yet so let me know if it's good, I might read that soon. And The Magical World of Harry Potter which is about all like the Latin derivatives of the words and things. And then The Casual Vacancy and I'll just show you this. So it's the hardback copy and it is signed, the hologram, let me just focus it on the hologram, hold on a second. So yeah, sorry, <laughs> I'm hopeless with this camera. Anyway, the hologram and the autograph, so that's super cool. And I actually just keep that with the Cuckoo's Calling on the Harry Potter shelf because I feel like it's worth it. I'll sort them out later. Uh, the next shelf I have all the Louise Renison books which I used to love when I was younger. Actually I'm missing the silver one, whatever that's called, in here. I have read it, I borrowed it off my friend at the time. And then Withering Tights and A Midsummer Night's a Midsummer Tights Dream, also by Louise Renison, which I also liked at the time, but apparently there's a new one, but I won't bother reading that now. And then this is like a, what do you call it, Wicked Witch of the West thing from The Wizard of Oz, that it's like one of those little boxes that you can get in um, bookshops. Then I have One Day, Forever Liesel, which is um, Charmaine Carter's memoir from The Sound of Music. Dancing with Light, which I haven't read. The Land of Stories by Chris Colfer, who was Kurt in Glee. Then I have all my John Green books. Will Grace and Will Grayson, Looking for Alaska, The Fault in Our Stars, Paper Towns. I have only read these two. 
I'm going to read Will Grace More Grayson and Paper Towns after I finish Let It Snow, which is another one of his books, which I'm reading now, so it's not here. The Perks of Being a Wallflower film cover, and I have another one of the covers, but it's not here. And there are two of the Hunger Games books, and I've only read a bit of the first one, didn't really like it, so I'm not sure if I'll carry on with those. Two, oh, After Miss Julie, that's a play. Two Alan Allberg poetry books, <laughs> don't know why I have those, Walkabout. Warwick Davis, Size Matters Not, just like his biography, and it's signed, but he wrote to Emma, my name's Ella, he must have misheard me. Anyway, it's still called Have. The Last Song by Nicholas Sparks, Wicked by Gregory, Gregory Maguire, but I do have a cooler copy of that on the next shelf. The Magic, oh, what's it called? The Faraway Tree Stories, which were like my favourite when I was younger, so I thought I'd keep them. Ballet Shoes, and again, I have a nice copy of that on the bottom shelf. Call the Midwife. Um, my mum actually has the original books before the TV series came out, but I got any charity shop with something like 50p. The Wizard of Oz, also charity shop. My Week with Marilyn by Colin Clark. Girl Missing, Sister Missing, and there is Missing Me, but I haven't read that. They're by Sophie, Sophie McKenzie, but I used to love those when I was younger. Miles to Go, Miley Cyrus's autobiography, of course. And Miranda Hart's Is It Just Me? hardback which I also got in a charity shop for about 50p. These are like little letters that I painted, just all this different pair. I had nowhere else to put them. And then next shelf down, this is my favourite shelf. Let me just focus it. Okay, so I have, well oh, it's difficult to get them up because they're tall. Anyway, The Grimory, which is like the book about Wicked the Musical, how it was made and written and whatnot. Focus. Okay, no, it's not going to focus, but anyway, the Grimmery, The Sound of Music, one chapter of the scrapbook, which is awesome. Um, the seven kids who were in the film put together a scrapbook and there's loads of bits and bobs in there. The Wizard of Oz, what is it? The official 75th anniversary companion, which is awesome. I love it. The Sound of Music companion, Call the Midwife, what's it called? The Life and Time of Call the Midwife, which is just like a behind the scenes book. Wicked and Son of a Witch by Gregory Maguire. That's the cooler version that I was on about. It's really nice. It's got gold pages. It's super nice. And Ballet Shoes by Noel Street Field, which... Oops, sorry. Which is the nicer copy. It's like cotton bound with a ribbon around it. This, what is this feeling? Wicked Globe. These are like Beatrix Potter bookends. And these are all like little drawers. They're handmade. They're super cute. And I have... The Winnie the Pooh books <laughs> there, not the Beatrix Potter books, but anyway. The last shelf, oh no, second to last shelf. I have really childish DVDs, which I can't keep downstairs. <laughs> I should probably go through them and get rid of a lot of them. But, you know, I've just sort of always had them. So we have a kid's collection of Shakespeare books, and then DVDs just like Mamma Mia, Wild Child, Ramona and Vizas, Cherry Bomb, Submarine... Uh, My Week with Marilyn, The Pucks Being a Wallflower, Grease, The Notebook, Mean Girls, The Last Song, Anger Stongs and Perfect Snogging, Aqua Aquamarine, The Three High School Musicals, of course, Camp Rock, <laughs> Another Cinderella Story, Hannah Montana, of course, Wind in the Willows, Tracy Beaker, various things. CDs, I won't go through them all. They're mainly really old, but what's that? Oh, Carrie Ellis. She was an alphabet. Um... Perhaps I should sort out this shelf and get rid of quite a lot, I'm thinking. Last shelf, um, these are all hardback kids' books, so I won't go through them all. Oh, Tom Daly. <laughs> um, but yeah, most of them are like Alice in Wonderland, Noddy Annual, <laughs> Five Minute Kitten Tales. So yeah, they're really like kids' books. And I've got some Jacqueline Wilson books there. I used to love her. Um, the Railway Children. And then these are my theatre programmes. I might do an updated theatre programme collection because I have got too many. So down here I've got about six Wicked programmes and then the rest are just other Western shows and I have a few playbills. So yeah, thank you for watching. Sorry about the awful camel work as usual. And if I just go up to the top. It's not tidy anymore. I'll have to put all the books back in. But yes. So that's my bookcase tour. Thank you for watching. Bye.